wall, a grid, grid gallery wall. Whew. Hi there and welcome. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'm Melissa. For this video, I want to show you how to create your very own wall grid photo gallery or any type of wall gallery that is going to be frames and you trying to put them up. Now the problem is trying to make it even, displayed, balanced, and looking right before you commit to putting those nails in the wall. So come and join me as I show you a really simple DIY hack on how to create a full proof picture frame gallery wall. So let's check it out. So there's nothing like starting with a blank slate. Here is my wall that I'm going to put my display on and I'm going to use these amazing blueprints of my home. When we first moved in, we discovered these amazing prints and I knew that I needed to use them somehow in my home. So I had them photocopied, color printed so that I could frame them. So I found these beautiful 16 by 20 frames and decided to go with these. It was a great price at Walmart and I absolutely loved it. However, the border um, or the matting around it was just too small. And so I went with a bigger mat that I just bought separately at Michael's. So herein lies my first problem or my first tip if we look at the glass half full. And when I first added it into the frame, I noticed that it was actually crooked. And so I sped this up. You're welcome. But I really wanted you to see the struggle. The struggle is real here. And I could not find a way to actually be able to balance the picture in my hand while I was using the picture frame. So I had to put it back in and take a look and phew, I lucked out. So next I decided, okay, let's try a different way. And I used the backing of the frame and this really helped to keep it flat so that I can actually adjust it with my hand. And then you'll see, I just kind of picked it up and added a piece of tape so that it stays secure. And yay, it actually worked. And I was able to do that with the rest of the frames. So next I really just wanted to make a template so that I can place it on the template on my wall before I committed to using the pictures. So I just used some of this craft paper and traced out my frames. And now just to speed this up so I wasn't cutting out six individual, I folded it in half so that when I made my cuts I was making two grids uh, or sorry two picture frame templates at once. Now, because it is wrapping paper, craft paper, it was folding on me. And so I just used the weight of the picture frame to hold it down while I cut it so that it is even. And yay, I now have two versions of um, a template and I just needed to do that three times. So I had six in total. So the next step is to mark my holes. I'm really just trying to find a way that I can put the nails up without trying to balance the picture frame at the same time. And if you see closely here, I really just lined up my template, pressed in my um, with my hand to make a dent where the holes should be or the the nails should be and just marked it with a marker so that I can see it. And now I can begin to place it onto my wall. And now for my favorite part, and this is really just trying to see or visually look at a balance and just get a sense of it. I'm using a measuring tape just to make sure I have the middle starting ground and that's where you really need to start. You need to find out where your middle is so that your pictures look balanced. So because I'm using six grid pictures, I'm really starting with the middle pictures and putting it up. And if you can see here, visually it was not balanced. I did not have it high enough. So rule of thumb is about six to eight inches um, for wall pictures above your couch or above furniture but because I was competing with wainscoting I had to add it about six to eight inches above the wainscoting and now that I have a space that I'd like it to be I'm really now just going and measuring and spacing it evenly and because I used a level I know now that it is all even and it is ready for me to put in the screws so you can use anchors or it by yourself whatever you need 
and start placing your nails or your screws directly where you had indicated the holes based on the template that you created. Whoops, uh, be careful not to drop it. A little tip I did was actually start to bang the screw into it before I continued. I found that um, an electric drill was actually easier to do and I just started putting them on using my level to make sure it's okay and I can continue. And I have the finished piece. I absolutely love how this turned out. It really does add to that feature wall or that display that I'm trying to achieve in my living room. So what do you think? I really hope that these tips and tricks that I've shared with you on how to make a template is really going to help you when you're creating your own photo grid wall gallery. So if you like what you see, please don't hesitate to throw a thumbs up, give it a like, and please consider subscribing. It always does help to grow my channel. Until next time, I hope this has helped you to stay inspired.